everybody, it's me, some jerk with a camera, and uh, once again, I have been tagged by the YouTube channel known as Oodalolly. Some jerk with a camera. Tony Goldmark, we're tagging you. Do it. Just do it. I'm always grateful for the opportunity to meet my two video a month quota with minimal effort because that gives me more time to work on the big videos. So this is the Disney Halloween 2017 Oodalolly tag. Let's do this. Question number one. Who is your favorite ghost from the Haunted Mansion? Uh, I think the answer is obvious. Uh, Terrence Stamp as Ramsley. I just love the way he killed that girl to stop an interracial marriage and then kidnapped and almost killed the wife of that guy because she kind of looked like the girl he killed. That was great. That guy's a class act. I am joking, of course. I am utilizing the art of lying for comedic effect, you see. Um, really, my answer would have to be Jack Skellington. That guy, man, that cat can swing. Okay, serious answer, uh, the ghost host. It doesn't say you have to see your favorite ghost in the Haunted Mansion. You just hear him, but, you know, he's just such a presence and he's just got that great iconic Paul Freeze voice and every word out of his, I assume he has a mouth or had one when he was alive anyway. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's all legendary and uh, yeah, the ghost host is my answer to that. Question number two, which evil Disney sidekick would you want for your very own? Well, again, the answer here is obvious, uh, Iago, because who doesn't want the voice of Gilbert Gottfried screaming in their ear at all times? That would just be delightful. Hey, jerk! I'ma let you finish, but LeFou is the greatest Disney villain sidekick of all time! Of all time! Question number three. What is your favorite Halloween costume of all time that you have worn? You know, I'm not really into uh, cosplay and dressing up for Halloween all that much because, um, well, look at me. I can convincingly cosplay as Hagrid or Hagrid, so... But I remember one year when I was a kid, I did dress up as Scrooge McDuck if he were human. And I, I didn't have a duck bill or, or feathers or a duck's ass or anything, but I did have the top hat and the glasses and the vest and I think even the spats, uh, but it was not entirely accurate because I did wear pants, so you're welcome. Question number four, what is the Halloween costume of your dreams? This one time, I dreamt that I was driving through the desert down a lonely stretch of highway. I'm talking middle of nowhere, like nothing for miles around, just sand and horizon. And I start to notice I'm running out of gas. And then out of nowhere, I see this Old West saloon off the side of the highway. Not even on a proper exit, just off the side of the highway. I pull over, I walk into the saloon, it's full of cowboys, and they all look at me like they can't believe I'm there, like they can't believe they're seeing me. And I say, um, does anyone know where the nearest gas station is? And then the bartender looks at me and he says, Son, do you have any idea where you are? And I said, no. And he says, in the stomach of a giant bee. The dream then literally cuts to an exterior crane shot of the building, but it's not a building anymore. It is, in fact, a giant bee. And the bee is just sitting there and not even buzzing, just saying the word buzz in the voice of Sterling Holloway. So, um, yeah, I guess that's my dream costume is that bee, because that bee appeared in a dream once. And Josh Gad is a dreamy boat full of sugar and potato chips that I'd like to lap up with a spoon. Question number five, which Disney villain's power do you wish you had? I wish I had Jafar's uh, snake staff so that I could brainwash people because that would save me a lot of time on political debates. Question number six, what is the best Disney song sung by a villain? This is a tough choice, but I'm going to have to give it to Friends on the Other Side from The Princess and the Frog as sung by Keith David as Dr. Facilier. It's a pretty good movie, but that one sequence is just so great and so much better than the rest of the movie that it simultaneously elevates the movie and kind of diminishes it, because then you're like, well, why couldn't the rest of the movie have been this awesome? Uh, to a lesser extent, the same is kind of true of Hellfire from Hunchback of Notre Dame, which would be a very close second. But in that case, it's kind of neck and neck with the opening Bells of Notre Dame sequence for the best scene of that movie. So I still got to give the nod by a nanometer to Friends on the Other Side. Plus, it's a catchier song. Question number seven, what is the best Disney Halloween treat? 
I am quite fond of the pumpkin cheesecake that they serve this time of year at various eateries around the Disneyland Resort. Question number eight, what is the best Disney villain's lair? Uh, assuming that Pixar counts, I gotta give it to Syndrome from The Incredibles, cause he's just got it all. He's got his own private island in this lush tropical paradise. He's got robots, he's got rocket ships, he's got all those disposable goons to do his bidding. He's got the people mover! I mean, come on! He's got the people mover! What's not to like, I ask you? Question number nine, which Disney villain would you want to team up with? Uh, Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove, because of all the Disney villains, she's kinda got the best point. I mean, sure, she's got that one line early in the movie where she says you really should have thought of that before you became peasants, but Kuzco's no better. I mean, he's just as vicious and nasty and dismissive towards the peasants. He's, he's gonna burn down their village just to make way for his own personal pleasure palace. I mean, personally, I would rather go with the strong, confident woman who's actually got experience in government than the whiny, narcissistic, egomaniacal, spoiled brat. Ahem. And finally, question number 10, which Disney villain would you not want to run into on Halloween night? The Headless Horseman. Cause you can't reason with a headless man. So that is all 10 questions. I am now allowed to tag up to six people, uh, but I think I'm only gonna tag four to keep it simple. I am tagging Spazmaster and Trickster Bell as a team because last time I tagged them in one of these things, they did their response video together, so I assume they'll do that again. I am tagging uh, David Ganzel, aka Doggins, who I know is very busy this month, but uh, hopefully he can squeeze this in. I am tagging Chris Nebergall, aka Tiny Mayfield, of Remain Seated with Chris Nebergall, an excellent YouTube show you should be checking out if you aren't already. And, um, what the hell, Doug Walker of Channel Awesome, the nostalgia critic himself, because screw it, I know him now. We did a collaboration together. Maybe he'll actually do this if I tag him. So, um, happy Halloween! You can blame my friends on the other side. And now what you want it? Oh, and follow me on Twitter. Why? Because I do tweets! Because I'm a bird! Do you get it? I'm a bird! Ha 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 ha! I miss the Affleck money. We're going door to door, just asking for candy on any other night. This would be panhandling, but living up folks, cause tonight's the night.